And then when we confirm with Sheriff Dahlbeck's team that it's confirmed it was her, uh, you know, my legs started to shake, man. It was, it was awesome. Signs around town change from missing to found. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is in Barron, Wisconsin this evening, and she joins us now. Hi, Susan Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amelia. You know, it's been three months since Jamie Kloss has walked through the doors of her middle school, and I've talked to several students over the past few months. They said they tried to act like things were normal, but they weren't. There was a scariness in the air. There was fear. There was anxiety. But today, they tell me, there was joy. Jamie Kloss should be halfway through the eighth grade, but she's missed several months, and the students have missed her. At school today, it was uh, really happy and a lot of rejoicing that she was back, so I think it was really nice that she made it back. Jamie's fellow eighth graders watched the sheriff's press conference and tried to grasp what even adults can't understand. And to think that she was in Douglas County, you know, not far away, it's crazy. Although there are many questions, there is much relief. It's good because we know she's safe and nothing's going to happen anymore. I'm real happy that she's um, home and safe. The school district plans to have a celebration for the young woman classmates call quiet, sweet, and kind. The young woman who has half of eighth grade and her whole life ahead of her. I want her to know that uh, we're all just so happy that you made it back. So very happy, and there's going to be a big celebration planned for her. You know, it was really neat being around town today, and instead of the fear I've seen in the people of Barron's eyes over the past few months, I saw a whole lot of joy. Amelia, that well deserved. Wonderful. Definitely. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth.